Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to cover functions or custom functions. And functions are a way in Xano which you can create logic that is reusable and simply insert it into other places in your workspace, whether that be in API endpoints, in task, or even other functions. So here I am on the functions page. You can find it under the library and in functions. Um, I already created one that we're gonna use for this example and it calculates the age. So if we actually look at a function, it has the exact same workflow as an API endpoint. There are inputs, so any information needed to uh, specify for the function to do what it's gonna do. Uh, the function stack, which is where you build all your logic and you can get as complex and exact as you need. And then an optional response, so something you might wanna get back. So all I'm doing in this function is I have an input, which is a timestamp, um, and it's called birth date. And in the function stack, I just have one variable in here, so it's a pretty basic function, but what we're doing is we are calculating the age. I'm first taking the value of now, which is a timestamp, just the time right now. I'm subtracting that input, which is the birth date. And then I'm dividing by this big number here. And I got to that number by just calculating the amount of milliseconds in years. This is because Xano stores timestamps in a Unix timestamp in milliseconds. So in order to calculate the amount of years between the timestamp now and the timestamp of the birth date, I need to actually divide by this number and you can just Google that. And lastly, I'm applying this filter called floor and this is just rounding down to the nearest integer. That's because, you know, if my birthday was tomorrow, um, I would still be the age I turned the prior year. Um, whereas if I were to round this, then it would round up uh, in this case. So that's why I have the floor here. So we can go ahead and I'll go ahead and run this as an example. So let's put in uh, July 16th, 1993. So if I run this, we can see someone that age would be 27. So now that we've created this custom function, we can actually easily insert it into uh, wherever we need this logic. So I'm gonna jump to the API and come into this API group here. And I'm gonna go into this user get user record. And we just have um, some basic fields here in our get user. And I can just show you this on the output. We just have stuff like name, email, and this birth date. So let's say we actually wanna calculate age based on the birth date of our users. What I can do here to use that custom function is I can go ahead and add to the function stack. I can go into custom functions and right here we'll see that function I created called age. So if I insert that in here, this will open up and because I have inputs, we actually need to map this input uh, to this function in order for this to run. So I can actually get this birth date input from my user record so I can come in here and grab this variable user, which is being created with this get record. And I can use dot notation to grab the field uh, birth date in my user table. And let's go ahead and uh, just name this instead of function one, we'll call this uh, age right here. And let's go ahead and actually add the age to our response right now. So we can see this function actually working. So now let's go ahead and grab uh, user ID one. So this is George. We can see George is 44 years old. Um, let's go ahead and grab user two. And this is Laura. We can see she's 38. And finally, we'll grab, I just have three users in this database, uh, Kim. And we can see that calculated ages, or Kim's age as 22. So there you go, a um, simple example of functions. Um, functions can obviously get very complex and you can have many items in the function stack. Additionally, sometimes if you're building in Xano and you've created some kind of logic in an API endpoint and you possibly wanna move that into a function to be reused, um, you can actually convert an API endpoint into a function if you go to the settings of your API endpoint and you click convert to function. We see many people like to first clone uh, their API endpoints and I'll just go ahead and show you an example of that. So I'll clone it first and then convert it as a function if they still want that logic in an API endpoint. I can go ahead and just click convert to function and I'm just gonna call this, um, we'll just call this function two right here. So when I save that, 
Um, you can see the logic in this API endpoint gets created in this single line of this function. And if we jump to the functions page, you can see that that'll contain all that logic, which I can continue editing or altering if I want to. So thanks for watching. Uh, once again, functions are a way to reuse different logic in Xano. Um, definitely very powerful. It has the same workflow as an API endpoint with the function stack. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe to Xano's YouTube channel and like this video. It'll be helpful for other users looking for the same content.